Hello everyone, welcome to King Special Data Science Code Camp. My name is Zara and I will help you navigate through the introductory Python lessons that we have prepared for you. The courses in our Code Camp are designed for students to learn the fundamentals of Python. It is intended for anyone with little or no prior experience of programming in general or Python specifically. But why learn Python? It is because Python is a powerful tool. It is easy to learn, it has high compatibility with other programming languages and platforms, it is open source and free. Python is a multi-purpose language with a large ecosystem of libraries, framework, and tools that can be used for data science and machine learning, web development, apps development, and many more. Take a look at various Python libraries here. Each of these libraries is a collection of sophisticated functions and methods that will allow you to perform many actions with pre-written code. Since for most of you, it is your first time learning Python, I will be explaining some of the key elements that we will be using in our code camp. Alright everyone, let's get started. So, first things first. We have uploaded a series of lesson notebooks hosted on a code sharing website called GitHub. To access these lessons, you can go to King's Geocomputation website. The address can be seen here. Under the running code camp online, you can see this button over here that is called launch binder. Just click it. After clicking it, you will be able to access all the resources needed to start your lessons. You will be directed to Binder where you can immediately start to code without having to worry about setting up your program and installing your libraries, which you will be learning later on. So there's nothing to install, nothing to download, and you can start coding straight away. If everything runs smoothly, you'll be landed here, where a series of notebooks are available for you to start learning. Begin with Notebook 1, getting started. Just click the file. The selected notebook will be open in a new tab. That way, you can always go back to your directory and open up several notebooks simultaneously. The first notebook will help you to get started to learn a new language, programming language. It will help you get comfortable in communicating with the computer and allow you to see the virtue of programming in geography. The second notebook talks about understanding how computers work by thinking like a computer. These two lessons are your starting point to understand how to operate your notebook, or also known as Jupyter Notebook, which is an interactive web application for writing and running code. The notebook consists of a sequence of cells. There are different types of cells that you can use. The first one is the narrative text, or known as markdown. Initially, you write in a plain text formatting syntax. Then, when running the code, it is converted in the web-based format. Another important type of cell is a code cell. A cell can also be visualizations, images, videos, and equations. To run a piece of code, click on the cell to select it, then press Shift-Enter or Control-Enter. Or, alternatively, you can also press the play button over here that says run you will be able to edit your cells add your own notes comments or codes and also add a new cell double clicking an existing cell would allow you to modify the cell so for example instead of four I'll switch to two run it again and you get different results you can also insert a new cell and you can switch the type of cells by going to cell type and you can switch between code or markdown here I'm gonna try markdown and write there you go a 
Along the way, we will ask you some questions and we will expect you to figure out the answer yourselves. You can check your answer by clicking this green button, Show Solution. A notebook kernel is a computational engine that executes the code contained in a notebook document. Let's see here, our kernel is Python 3. Please note that if left idle for more than a few minutes, binder will disconnect. And while you'll still be able to view the notebook, you'll no longer be able to run any code. So it is important to remember that Binder would not save your work unless you download it to your local directory. Alternatively, you can also save your changes by saving it to your browser storage. This way, if you close your files, and you want to go back to the edited version of your notebook, you can just click here, Restore from Browser Storage. Click OK. And here, you have the edited version of your notebook. When you have finished working on your notebooks, don't forget to save it and download it to your local directory by clicking Download. So go ahead, work on your first two notebooks. See you in the next video where I'm going to talk about the basic concepts in Python.